Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Maria and today I'm going to show you how to make four beautiful fall decorations for your home. Don't you just love fall? It's one of my favorite times of the year. Some of the reasons are that I love to drink tea, I love taking walks outside when the leaves on the trees are changing colors, and I also love, love, love lighting scented candles. Oh, and did I mention tea? Anyway, the four DIYs that I created are all based on my personal loves about the fall season. I hope that you'll love them as much as I do. You can totally adapt them to your taste and to the color scheme of your home. So without any further ado, let's get started. So for this project, you'll need six sheets of pattern paper, three sheets of blank paper, a printed out leaf shape, glued to some cardboard and then cut out, glue, yarn, and a pair of scissors. So first, get your pattern paper, turn around and then get your leaf template, put it on one of the paper pieces and trace around it. And then do the same thing with all the other five sheets of paper. After you're done tracing all the sheets of paper, cut them out. Get your blank sheets of paper and draw a heart on each of them and cut it out. I did use a heart template that I printed out off the internet because my freehand drawing skills that day were not on point. After you cut out the hearts, you can write something that you love about fall on each of the hearts. So I chose the words tea, leaves, and candles. Then cut a long piece of yarn and glue all your cut out pieces on it to create a garland. I did it like this, three leaves, then the three hearts, and then three leaves to create a pattern like that. Once you're done, you can hang it up on the wall. So for the next project, you'll need three wooden picture frames, the word autumn printed out just like this in the font of your choice, spray paint, and a pair of scissors. So the first step is to just spray paint your wooden frames. You can obviously use store-bought golden frames, but this way it's a lot cheaper and I have the spray paint on hand. Then using the insert of the photo frame as sort of a template, just draw around the words A ah, in this case or the letters A and U to kind of create a rectangle that you'll cut out later and then do the same thing with the other two sheets of paper. After you've cut them out, just insert them into the picture frames to create a collage that says Autumn. And this is what the first two projects look like finished. I think they really complement each other because on top it says autumn and beneath it it mentions my favorite things about autumn. So for the third project you'll need three white candles, pressed dried leaves and or flowers, Mod Podge, brush with a sponge tape, acrylic paint, and some painter's tape. First just tape the bottom of the first candle, and after you're done with that, do the same thing with the other two candles. I tape each candle up a little bit higher to create this kind of stair effect, if you want to call it like this, and then I just painted the tape off bottom using acrylic copper paint. I used one of those sponge tip brushes. Once they're dry, just peel the tape.
then get your Mod Podge and coat a part of the candle. Then get one of your dried leaves or flowers, press it into the Mod Podge and put another layer on top. I used three flowers for the tall candle, three leaves for the medium sized candle and four ivy leaves for the small candle. I did have a few issues with the ivy leaves. They were really thick even though they were dried so they wouldn't really stick down so I wrapped some painter's tape around it and once the Mod Podge was all dry I peeled it off and it was fine. So then just leave the candles to dry and this is the finished result. I think it looks really great. And please note to not light those candles. I just did that for showing you the end result, but obviously they are not burn proof. For the last project, you'll need a blank canvas, a few leaves, acrylic paint, a brush and a brush with a sponge tip and some white scrap paper. For some reason the first part of this DIY unfortunately somehow got deleted but it was just basically me painting a canvas and then letting it dry. So the next step is to take one of the leaves and your sponge tip brush and coat it in paint but make sure to coat it in a very thin paint layer as thin as possible while it's still covering the whole leaf. After you're done painting the leaf, just take it and put it, the painted side facing downward on the canvas, then get one of your white paper sheets, put it on top and gently press down. After you press down and rubbed it for a little bit, just peel off the leaf and this is the end result. I ended up putting three leaves on the canvas and you see that the last leaf was a little bit stubborn and a few pieces stuck to the canvas but you can just peel them off and you're fine. And this is the finished piece. Those were my four DIYs for fall. I hope that you liked them. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.